Hey guys! Is it weird that I'm really excited about doing a video about a moon cup? Maybe. Is it weird that you're going to want one? No. I've been super excited about doing this video because I think it's something that everyone should know about. Now the moon cup is something that I discovered about two years ago. For those of you wondering what a moon cup is, first of all it's a brand, so the actual device is called a menstrual cup. If you couldn't have thought of a sexier name. So you can get all different types of menstrual cups. They mostly look like a very similar shape to this one. So this is my demo moon cup. They sent me this one for free so that I can use it in my videos because um, it's still got the stalk intact. I haven't cut that off because when you do first get the moon cup, it will come with this stem here. So why is the moon cup so good at dancing? No, I mean, why is the moon cup so great? First up, these little dudes save me money. So I paid about 21, 22 pounds uh, for my moon cup, and then that is it for the next eight years or so. Boom. <laughs> I feel like I've found a complete life cheat. It's so nice, you don't even have to leave your house if you suddenly start your period. You're like, oh, I'll just go to the cupboard, pull out the moon cup, whap it in. Whap? Is that a word? Next up, it's eco-friendly, which is actually the main reason that I bought it. For the entire time that I use this, there's no waste other than the liquid contents. Um, which just get tipped down the loo. It lasts for about eight years, um, <laughs> which is insane. But I've done some research and silicone is actually recyclable, which is brilliant. So when it comes to the end of its life, I'm probably just gonna do a bit of research and find somewhere that can recycle silicone. Also, it's latex free. You can get natural rubber menstrual cups, not by Moon Cup. I think there's one out there called The Keeper. It might be American actually. But some people do have an allergy to latex, which is found in rubber. So this uh, silicone, option is completely fine for anybody who's got a latex allergy. If you're not 100% sure when you're going to start your period, this is where the moon cup is freaking amazing. To give you an example, I was on a boat. I was on a boat. I was very lucky to be on a boat with some lovely people about a year and a half ago. We were out there for a good few hours and beforehand I thought, I might start my period today. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm weeping at things. Okay, I'll just pop this in just in case. And there was no loo on board this boat, okay? Just note that. And then we went to a restaurant for some lunch. I went to the loo just to check and see what had happened. And lo and behold, I had started my period. I honestly don't know what I would have done if I had been on that boat and started my period with nowhere to go, nothing to change into. I, I just, I genuinely think I would have been like, guys, I'm just gonna swim to the restaurant. Okay, I'll see you there. You can go swimming in it. You can do sport. Sometimes when you think of an eco-friendly alternative to things in life, you imagine that you're gonna have to sacrifice on comfort or style, etc. Well, number one, this is stylish. So don't worry about that. Number two, this is flipping comfortable. I actually forget that I'm on my period when I'm wearing this. Everybody is different. So some people find it a little bit unusual to begin with, but you just have to play around with it, I think. Work out what size cup you need. It comes in two sizes, A or B. I've also got the A cup here, which is the bigger size of the moon cups. So that's the A and this is the B, that's the one I have. You also have to change it a lot less than you do a tampon. The recommendations are that you change it sort of every eight hours. I also think it's super comfortable because it doesn't absorb or dry out anything from down there. Tampons are mostly made from cotton, which you might think is, oh, it's so natural, it's great. The majority of cotton out there at the moment is genetically modified um, so that it can withstand pesticides that are sprayed on it. If you do want to have a tampon, make sure it's an organic one because it's just got a knock-on effect of the farmers who farm the cotton aren't having to breathe in the pesticides. The nature around where the cotton is being farmed is um, intact, it's not being sprayed with chemicals. And then when it comes to you using it, you aren't absorbing any of the nasty pesticides or chemicals that have been used. So if you are going to use a tampon, I would highly, highly recommend an organic one. NatraCare do a really good range. Now the Moon Cup comes in a little box like this and it's got an instruction booklet inside. A bit of light reading before bedtime. And the Moon Cup itself actually comes in a little cotton pouch. I would highly recommend trying it out before you start your period. So you're going to want to insert it and then you're going to want to work out how much of the stalk to cut off. But take it out first before you cut the stalk, okay? My preferred method is this. All you have to do is push down so it folds to that sort of shape and it creates a bit of a point here. So much like you'd insert a tampon, um, you just pop it up there and it sort of glides up 
and it releases itself and creates um, a vacuum or a suction seal. I've read that it sometimes goes in and doesn't fully open up or create um, a suction seal, which means it can leak from time to time. I haven't had that experience. I have been leak free. Clearly just a pro when it comes to putting a moon cup in. We've all got our talents in life. But once it's in, I would highly recommend just using your finger to poke the base of it, which just makes sure that it's opened up fully and creates a definite seal. And then it'll just sit there super comfortably. It sits lower than a tampon, so don't worry about that, that's quite normal. To take it out, just grab it at the base and basically releases the um, suction. And then you can just wiggle it down and it'll come out quite simply. Have a few goes, everybody's got their own little technique. I used to, with tampons, probably have to change them maybe every two or three hours on my heavy days. And you do think, oh my goodness, I must be losing so much blood, oh, it's insane. And then you collect it in a moon cup and you realize that it's close to, what, like three teaspoons, four teaspoons? on a heavy day. This is a trooper compared to a tampon. So once you guys have become great friends and woohoo, you've had your first period together, high five. You're gonna wanna look after your moon cup because it's gonna last eight years. And if it's neglected, it probably won't last that long. So do look after it. Now I personally give it a quick wash with unfragranced Castile soap. Just sort of lather it up all over, give it a wash. And it, you've got tiny little holes around the rim there, just make sure that each one of those is clear, you can give them a little squeeze, but that's how I initially clean it. And then usually a couple of days or the week that I think I'm about to start my period, I will use my moon cup pan. Yeah, I've got a moon cup pan. <laughs> ah, this is my moon cup pan. This is an old Minnie Mouse one that I got from Disneyland in Paris about 10 years ago and I will boil it in water for about five to 10 minutes and I actually like to add baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. So apparently it's a really good way of cleaning it. This one's from Cabbages and Roses and it's actually my favorite. I use this to make toothpaste. I use this as deodorant. I also use it for cleaning. It comes in paper packaging as well, which is brilliant. No plastic packaging. Um, and it's produced and packed in England as well, which is also nice to know. So that's a little bit about the Moon Cup. The main reason I love it is for eco-friendly reasons. Also, if you're a guy and you've managed to watch this to the very end, I would like to give you a virtual hug um, because you're cool. I like the fact that you've sat here and watched a video where I've essentially just talked about my period and menstrual cups, two things that you probably didn't think you were gonna sit down and watch today, but you have. I mean, the word menstrual has got men in it, so you're kind of involved, guys. There's no backing out of this. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're feeling committed. I'll see you next month and I'll see you soon.